Love you in India. Love you in My name is Karen Ahmed and welcome to another episode of Cravings Vlog. Today we're making pot and this is a famous meat dish from Bangalore, India. My husband is from Bangalore and this is his all-time favorite dish. So what is pot? It is a meat dish made in Bangalore, India and it is cooked with coriander and spices and is absolutely delicious. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fry up the onions that I've sliced. So while I'm waiting for the onions to caramelize, it is going to take a few minutes, I'm going to grind up some of the spices. The first thing that's going to go in are the peppercorns. Next, I'm going to put in 4 tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. You can use store pot ginger and garlic paste. I often uh, grind it up myself, it's fairly easy to do. So in this goes. Next, I have about 3 cups of coriander, also known as cilantro. You can cut off the roots and you can use the stems because the stems have a lot of flavor. water to grind this up. There is a lot of moisture already from the ginger and garlic paste, but if that isn't enough, add a little bit of water. I've ground the coriander and the spices, and this is the consistency that you're looking for. These are almost done. They have a nice uh, caramelized color. Um, just another minute maybe. They've already been frying for about three minutes. A uh, quick tip, if you want to brown your onions faster, all you need to do is sprinkle a little bit of salt, and that tends to speed up the process. So the onions are now done and I'm ready to start pureeing them. I'm going to add some of the coriander mixture I made earlier just for the moisture to uh, grind the onions up really fine. It's going to be a liquid. So I've browned up the onion together with the coriander and this is what it looks like. And now is when all the fun begins. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to the pan because we're going to fry up all of the spices and the ground mixture that we made earlier. So are you ready? In it goes. It's going to work really fast. I'm going to add 4 green chilies. You can add these whole or you can add it to the, to the blend. But I prefer to add them whole because that way you can fish them out if you need to. And now we're going to add all of the dry spices. This is turmeric. Indians use it a lot in cooking and it's really good for you. We also make it into a paste and put it on your face so you can have a really beautiful glow. This is garam masala. It's the Indian allspice. It's made out of roasted cloves, cardamom and other spices. And it's very good with meat and even chicken. This is cumin powder. Cumin powder, I usually roast myself because it gives it a really earthy taste, but you can buy ready ground cumin powder. So all of these spices are gonna go right into the pot. Let's give that a stir. We're basically just frying up all of the ground spices and the dry spices, so we don't have that very uncooked taste. I'm now ready to add my meat. This is two pounds of lamb. You can also use older lamb, that is mutton, or you can use goat. I'm gonna add all the meat straight into the pot. And just mix it up. This smells so good already. You can smell the coriander and the pepper. Now my husband's mother, his ami makes an amazing pal and he's always talking about his ami's pal so I hope that I can live up to her standard. We'll see. Now I'm gonna add some water. You can add about a cup and you might add to need to add more through the process. Lamb or mutton, 
needs about an hour, an hour and a half to cook. You can use a pressure cooker and that can speed up the process. But if you don't have a pressure cooker, just put it in a pot, add some water, keep an eye on it, and leave it the hell alone. Oh, it smells so good. So I've been cooking this for a little bit over an hour and you might need to cook it a bit longer. It really depends on how young the meat is. If you're using lamb, it's gonna cook faster. Uh, if you're using mutton, which is older sheep, it'll take a bit longer to cook. If you use a pressure cooker, obviously this is gonna speed up the process, but always make sure that the meat is really tender. Just give it a little bit of a, of a pat down with your spoon and it should fall apart and then you know it's done. The gravy is deliciously thick and I just hope that this lives up to my Ami's expectations. Now the final step, I've got the juice of one lemon. Don't use all of it if, if you're not into sour. So I'm just gonna use maybe three fourths of it. Give it a mix and it's ready for the taste test. Love you